this is Project 11 of Hacking with Swift. Now it's going to feel a bit like we're going back to the basics in some respect. That's not because I like repeating myself quite so much, but instead we're learning a whole new framework called SpriteKit. So far, everything you've made has been based on UIKit, Apple's user interface toolkit for iOS. We've made several games with it, and it really is very powerful, but even UIKit has its limits, and 2D games aren't its strong suit. A much better solution is called SpriteKit, Apple's fast and easy toolkit designed specifically for 2D games. It includes sprites, fonts, physics, particle effects, and more, and it's built into every iOS device. What's not to like? So this is going to be quite a long tutorial, so you'll learn an awful lot. To help keep you sane, I've tried to make the whole thing as iterative as possible. That means we'll make a small change and discuss the results, and make another small change and discuss the results until the project's finished. If you're all set, let's go over to Xcode. In Xcode, choose Create a New Xcode Project, choose iOS, and this time choose Game. Then press Next. For product name, I'll enter Project 11. For game technology, please choose Sprite Kit, not Scene Kit or Metal, but Sprite Kit. Deselect Integrate Gameplay Kit and Unit Tests and UI Tests. Then press Next and create on your desktop somewhere. Now this game is going to be for iPads only, so please choose Devices and change it to be iPad rather than Universal. Finally, lock the device orientation so it's not portrait or upside down, leaving only landscape left and landscape right. Now I want to say up front that when working with SpriteKit projects, I strongly recommend you use a real device for testing your projects because the iPad simulator is extremely slow for games. If you don't have a device, you want to choose the lowest spec iPad simulator available to you, not the iPad Pro 12.9 inch, something smaller like the iPad 6th generation. But be prepared, even that will have dreadful performance that's not at all indicative of a real device.